Hey guys, it's Pastor Cody here wanting to invite you to come and be a part of a great and exciting new ministry called Cal Church on Wednesday. Now you might be sitting there and think, Cody, I've heard a lot about Cal, but I still really don't know what it's about. Or you might be sitting there going, Cody, I've never even heard about Cal in my life. Well, that's okay. This video is going to explain exactly what it is. We're going to talk about roles that you can play. We're also going to talk about what makes it a success. We're going to talk about what a win is. And I hope that you'll help us make Cal a reality this fall at First Baptist Church. Now, we know, based on what Scripture says, that we are called to work whatever we do. Colossians 3.23 work at it with all of our heart as working for the Lord, not for me. We know in 1 Corinthians 10 31 that it says that whatever we eat or drink or whatever we do to do it all for the glory of God. So our hope and our passion is to combine these things, the glory of God and the things that God has made us passionate about. So what is Cal? I'll give you a working definition. Cal is a fun, new, and exciting evangelistic ministry that combines your talents, gifts, and passions with God-glorifying purpose. Well, that sounds great, Cody, but how? Well, let's take a look at what, it, what we can do. When you sign up to help make Cal a success, we have a number of different roles that you can serve in. You might be passionate about uh, writing, you might be passionate about art. You might be passionate about basketball or baseball or something like that. Well, we need track leaders. Track leaders instruct, plan, and lead children for 40 to 50 minutes, depending on the age group, every Wednesday night. You'll be teaching them things. Let's take baseball, for example. You might be teaching them how to throw and catch the ball. You might be teaching them how to properly hold a bat. You might be teaching them all those kinds of things. And you might play blitz ball or wiffle ball in the gym on a Wednesday night, teaching them those fundamentals, how to handle a ground ball and things like that. Well, perhaps you're not sure how to teach that passion or skill or talent. That's okay because using the LifeWay Zip curriculum, we are able to partner alongside of you to give you ideas, to give you instruction exactly on how to do that. Or maybe you're sitting there and you're like, Cody, I really don't have anything that I'm passionate about. That's okay too, because we also have pre-made tracks available for you. Everything from duct tape design to creative kitchen concoctions to weird science. We want to make sure that you thrive in the role that the Lord is leading you into. Well, not everyone can be a track leader, but you know what? we also need are also farmhands. Farmhands are people that come alongside of track leaders to help give special attention to children that might need it. Maybe there's a child that's having a hard time learning how to dribble the ball. A farmhand would come alongside them and give them special one-on-one -on -one attention. Or maybe there's a painting class. Well, we don't want paint getting on the carpet, and so a farmhand might come alongside of them and help them paint. We need helpers. And it's not just for the kids' uh, help, but it's also for safety. We want to make sure that our kids are safe in whatever situation they're in while they're here on campus and in the world. Well, not only do we need track leaders and farmhands, but we also need Bible study leaders. You see, using these gifts and talents are great. We want kids to have an amazing time, but most importantly, we want them to have a saving encounter with Jesus Christ. We want them to hear the gospel. And using the ZIP curriculum, kids are going to be learning over the first five weeks all about who God is. They're going to be learning about his power. They're going to be learning about his uh, his omniscience. They're going to be learning about his eternity, uh, his eternal nature. We're, they're going to be learning all about his trustworthiness. And, and you can help make that a reality by signing up to be a Bible study leader. Bible study takes about 20 minutes on a Wednesday night. And yes, that is a, a shorter time. But remember that this is an evangelistic ministry. Most children here, they don't know a whole lot about Jesus. Or if they do, 
um, it, it's not very impactful. We believe in being very strategic in sharing the gospel. And we can share the gospel and the truth of his word in about 20 minutes. And you can help make that a success. Well, you might be sitting there going, Cody, I really don't want to be involved in any of those areas. Well, we also have other places for you to serve, whether it's on the registration team, making sure that you're a friendly face, checking people in, or perhaps you could uh, be a part of the security team, or even being a part of the dinner bell crew. You know, we've got uh, families that have been at work and at school all day, and they are looking for a fantastic meal. They're looking for a place where they can come and, and, and relax and fellowship. Well, we are making a couple of changes to that. Firstly is that we're going to be asking families to register beforehand. Uh, by doing that, it allows us to be greater stewards of God's money uh, and resources. Uh, secondly, we want to, uh, we're, we're going to start charging a, a $3 per plate uh, for, for families. Um, kids three and under, they'll eat free. And what that's going to allow us to do is to make sure that we are serving the highest quality possible dinners. Uh, so that way we can have some of our older members join, some of our uh, people that uh, might just uh, they might eat elsewhere. We want them to come and fellowship with us because it's not just a, a, a meal for families. It's a meal for our church. It's a meal for all of us to get together and eat around the table and connect around, around dinner. And so uh, it's a good thing. The major change this year is that parents and guardians are no longer going to be able to, to just drop off their children during, that, uh, during our cow time. Parents are parents or guardians are going to have to stay on campus and they're either going to have to serve in, in Cal or they're going to uh, participate in one of our prayer groups, uh, one of our Bible studies, uh, one of our life classes. Uh, so that way we can um, guarantee a child's safety and remember that we believe in reaching the family. It's not just that we reach the family through reaching the children. There's a 3% chance of reaching the whole family if we just reach the child. But if we reach mom and dad with the power and the truth of the gospel, we have a 97% chance of reaching the entire family. And so that's where we're going to focus our efforts. Remember uh, that, we can, uh, that we've got uh, prayer groups, Bible studies, Financial Peace University, other Bible studies that we want to see uh, become a reality. In particular, I'm praying for a Bible study leader for one on uh, gender and sexuality. We've got a great curriculum available, and, um, and so maybe you feel led to start that. That would be an amazing, amazing time uh, to get that going. So let's talk about what Cal actually looks like. Because uh, let's say that we have uh, our track leaders. Uh, and, and so what's going to happen is, is that parents are going to be able to go onto the Church Center app and register their kids for Cal. And they're going to be able to sign them up through using the, Cal, uh, using the Church Center app. Let's say Malachi picks uh, basketball. Let's say Lillian uh, picks uh, art. And uh, Josiah picks... Uh, percussion. Okay. Um, Abigail, she's in the nursery. Let's say that's Wednesday night, 510. We're coming in. We're hungry. We're ready to get the, the evening going. How does this night look? Well, the first step is, is going in to check in. We're going to walk over to the check-in desk, just like we did in the past, and get the kids all checked in. And then we're going to go down to the, uh, to the gym and get ready to get our grub on. It's going to be a great meal. We're excited. Uh, as a parent, it is up to me to parent my child, watch over them, make sure they're not running around and screaming and things like that. Remember, it's dinner time. Uh, that's not how we do it at home, and so that's not how we're going to do it here. Um, remind your little ones to you know, use the restroom beforehand, before Cal gets started. Uh, the reason for that is that we've got an hour and 15 minutes for Cal, and, and so we're going to be we're going to need to make that time as efficient as possible. So making sure that your kids use the bathroom sometime between uh, 5.30, 5.40, is going to be huge in us making it a success. Well, at around 5.40, it's time to put up the tables, 
roll them into the, uh, the closets, uh, put up the chairs, sweep, all that kind of stuff. Uh, everyone is going to be going down to the um, sanctuary for something that we're going to call the shindig. The shindig is kind of an open rally, uh, opening rally. It's going to take about 10 minutes where any kind of announcements might happen. We might play a big group game. Uh, Amber is going to be leading in uh, maybe a worship song or two, something really high energy and fun with hand motions, something that the kids will, will grow to learn and know over that uh, first track. And uh, uh, I'll be introducing the uh, big Bible study topic for that night. For example, the, the first one is, is that God is loving. And uh, then we're going to um, be dismissing into our different tracks uh, during that time. Children, they'll be uh, sitting with their track leader during the shindig. And, uh, and parents, they'll be going to uh, their Bible study during the shindig as well. Now, just before 6 p.m., children are going to be in their track areas, and they're going to be learning some new and exciting skills during that first 20-minute section. Malachi might be learning how to dribble the ball. Lillian, she might be learning about paint and glitter. Josiah, he might be learning how to hold uh, certain sticks. Um, and uh, Abby, she's going to have a place, too, in the nursery. And so, like I said, that's going to be about 20 minutes. Now, after that first 20-minute time, that's where we're going to have our first Bible study. Uh, it's going to be very gospel-centered, gospel-oriented. It's all like the, the first night is all about David uh, and Bathsheba and the forgiveness that he got uh, from the Lord through repenting of that. Or a Bible study leader might decide to go with uh, the New Testament story of, of Jesus restoring Peter to fellowship. We're going to be using the ZIP curriculum in order to make that a reality, and children are going to be learning for, about the gospel for about uh, 20 minutes. And, um, and so if you would like to uh, make sure that kids are hearing the gospel and making that a reality, that would be a great, great fit for you. Well, then it's back to learning all about the skills. I can't believe that's already been over 50 minutes. And... Uh, for the last time, for the last little bit of time, children are going to be learning all about those same skills. Uh, maybe it's breaking out into a scrimmage in basketball, or or perhaps it's uh, 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 finishing up a, a painting, or maybe it's uh, really getting a beat down so that way they can build on it for the next week. At about seven o'clock, parents they'll be getting out of their Bible studies get into the rooms and picking up their children, and it's as simple as that. And so what can you do to make this a reality? Well, we need helpers. We need volunteers. We need track leaders. We need Bible study leaders. We need people to run registration. We need uh, uh, members of the dinner bell crew, people that can help make that a reality. Um, if we were to offer eight tracks, uh, four for kindergarten through second grade and uh, four for uh, third through sixth grade, then we could use 24 leaders just for the tracks. That would be three adults in each track, a track leader, a helper, a Bible study leader. We need some helpers in the nursery and pre-K as well as five, five, six, seven cooks on Wednesday nights, two or three people for check-in, and you can make this a reality. You can make this ministry a success and we can't do this without you. And so you might be sitting there going, Cody, okay, I get it, I understand. We can make this a success. We can make this a reality. Through this, we can grow our church and make it thrive. How do I get the ball rolling? Well, I'm glad that you asked. And the uh, link in the description below this video, there is a link um, that you click on and it's gonna take you to our website and it's going to have this big red button that says, I want to get involved. That's going to be the easiest way to get the ball rolling. And I hope that you'll join us in making Cal a success. I'll talk to you later. Our next meeting for Cal is August 18th. It's the last one. Okay. So I hope that, I hope, I hope that you'll uh, be able to make it August 18th at 6 p.m. All right. I'll talk to you later.